Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a drama around an alleged Google login page vulnerability. A researcher named Aiden Woods released a blog post talking about an alleged zero-day vulnerability in Google's login page. Basically, Google's login page uh, allows for an additional get parameter called continue. And it seems this particular uh, parameter allows Google to forward you to other Google resources after you log in. Now, this researcher found ways to leverage this parameter parameter to do things like force your computer to download an executable file or to maybe redirect you to some sort of non-Google site. Now it appears that uh, Google does have some whitelisting around this particular continue parameter. They only allow the continue parameter to forward to other google.com domain resources. However, as the researcher points out, Google actually hosts their own resources that allow for redirecting and allow for document and file sharing. So such as docs.google.com and a particular Google resource that he uses for a redirect. So by using Google's own resources, if an attacker can get you to click on a specially crafted Google link, after you log into Google, your computer will automatically download a particular file from someone's Google uh, Drive or will actually redirect to some third party page, which could help the attacker fish you because you think you're visiting a Google site. Now, the drama around this vulnerability is the researchers try to actually report it to Google. And in his post, he shares the email chain with a Google employee. But in the end, the Google employee decides not to consider this a vulnerability. So the researcher decided to disclose it despite the fact that it is public. Now, there is a little good news here, and that's that even if these are vulnerabilities, despite uh, Google's claims otherwise, they're not overly severe ones. For instance, the download flaw, which is the big one. You can click on a link, log into Google, and your computer will automatically download a file. Do realize it's not download and execute. That means a victim would still have to find and execute that file if it were actually malware. Now, the open redirect vulnerability isn't directly bad, but it really does help for phishing. For instance, if I can get you to click on a Google login link, a legitimate one, you try to log in, but then I redirect you to a page that fakes up a your Google login failed and then asked you to authenticate again, it's a great way to fish your account using real Google assets. Nonetheless, it still takes some user interaction. So what's the practical tip here? Well, since Google hasn't fixed this, the best thing for users is to really pay attention to the URLs you click on. If you click on a Google login link, you want, might want to check out the URL. If you see weird parameters forwarding you to weird sites, you might want to think about it before you actually log in using that link. In any case, it's kind of interesting story. It will be interesting to see if Google does go back and fix this particular issue, whether they consider it a severe vulnerability or not. That's it for today's show. Thank you for watching.